good morning everyone today we will discuss about certain techniques that are used to separate the components of a mixture dear students you are familiar with simple methods that are used to separate the components of a mixture like hand picking you have seen your mother at your home that your mother collect some particles of scent silt clay and some plant leaves from wheat and rice this method is hand picking second when you prepare tea then you filter out tea leaves from tea by the process of sieving third one filtration when you prepare lemonade at that time you filter out seeds of lemon from lemonade this is filtration dear students you are familiar with all these simple techniques like hand picking sieving filtration in this video we will discuss about some special techniques that are used to separate the components of mixture like evaporation in your chapter number 1 you have read about evaporation and factors affecting evaporation so basically what is evaporation the process of converting liquid into water vapor at atmospheric pressure below its boiling point is called evaporation so how can we use this method to separate different components of a mixture dear students evaporation is a method that is used to separate a volatile component what is the meaning of the term volatile here that can be evaporate easily is called volatile component and non volatile component that is not easy to evaporate for example if you have a mixture of you can see in the diagram if you have a mixture of salt and water then between salt and water which is volatile component and which is non volatile component so you can see i have written here volatile component is solvent so what is solvent between salt and water the solvent is water and a non volatile component is solute so what is solute salt is solute so what we will do we will heat a mixture of salt and water we will heat a mixture of salt and water due to heating the volatile component that is water gets evaporate and what left behind in the china dish is salt so you can use this method to separate the components of ink understood that's all for today thank you and have a nice day